In mid-August, I flew back to Indianapolis for the 60th reunion of the Shortridge class of 1964. I arrived the night before the Sunday event, so had the opportunity to attend a service at the Second Presbyterian Church. After the service, memories flooded back when I visited the chapel where we were married and the parlor where our reception took place. At noon, our class reunion took place at the Woodstock Country Club. Woodstock, still relatively close to the center of Indianapolis, has retained its elegant golf course, clubhouse, and very active tennis courts. Our reunion started with a reception in one of the ballrooms. After 60 years, a number were no longer with us. Many were getting rather feeble, but a good number were still bright and physically fit as always. Among the latter was my good friend, George Valoris and wife, Georgia. Also sitting at our table was Jim Batman and Ruth and wife Ruth from San Diego. I had some time to visit our haunts after the war, including 116 27th Street, 5342 Boulevard Place, which Mother and Dad built, and this was wildly overgrown with all kinds of plantings. And then a ride along the canal not far to the Riviera Club. The club looked to be in good shape, but at the time I was there, there were only two swimmers and a lonely older man in the locker room, and the rest of the place looked pretty deserted. And here is the house that Mother and Dad built at Woodland Country Club looking in excellent shape. What seemed so far out in the country seemed to be now part of the city, just a few blocks off of 116th and Meridian Streets. And so this trip down memory lane brought back a renewed feeling of identity made possible by the love and sacrifices that preceded us.